So hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Matthew Jones and today I'll be taking you through the process of how you can fill your DV Rotary program as a family. And I will be using a family of two as an example. So if you have if your family is more uh, bigger or larger than that, you can figure out uh, using the sample here. So uh, remember that the website, the official website is above here as you can see that is the dvprogram.state.gov. Once you're there it will take you to similar page to this. And once you're there, you can read the instruction about the photos and all that. But for us, we are concerned more about the begin entry. Once you click on that, it will take you to a page where you will be, you will have to con to fill some configuration numbers there. And once you're done with that, they will take you to another page that that is similar to this. And on this page, this is the first page, part one, entrant information. This is about the name. So. For last, we'll be using my name as uh, from my YouTube channel that is Matthew Jones Edition. So, edition name is the surname. And remember, I'll be uh, the sample shows that I'm the father. Then I'll include my spouse and maybe two children. So, start with your surname there. Then the first name. And once you click the first name, then the middle name. If you don't have any of the first or middle name, there are those checkbox down below there. You can click on them. So gender, I'll choose male. Date of birth, I'll just fix some numbers here. For you, you have to use your passport when you are filling all this. Make sure you don't make a mistake. Use the information on the passport. Aha. Uh -huh. Bad city, I'll choose that. If you don't know, you can check the checkbox down there. Bad country, I'll choose that one. And I continue. Passport information. You have your own passport. Go again, use your passport information and fill out down there. And once you do that, you can continue. So that's it. Passport number, I just give it a rough figure there. There an expiry date on your biography page on your passport there is that information about expiry date and if your passport is expired then you cannot use that passport. I hope we are clear up to that point. Country where it was issued, I'll choose the same country. I already made a video of a single case, so this for those who already watched that, this is just a go a uh, very fast link and you can catch up very fast so about the photos i'll just use one photo but if you have you know your spouse and children you have to use their photos but for me here i'll just use one photo here and just this is just a sample so on the mailing address this is an address where you live in or where you are you if you don't have i know several countries a lot of places don't have addresses you can as well go ahead and use an address maybe for your former school, your current church, whatever. A place where if they send a uh, mail, they, then you can be able to reach it out or it can reach you out at that place. So I would suggest that you maybe you use the address of maybe your former school uh, or something like that. So for me here, I'll just use these ones. And once I'm done with that, if you're not sure about the postal code, and some people get confused here, postal code and country code. Country code is different from postal code. If you're not sure about your region, go on Google, type your city, your nearest big town in your country, and request for the postal code. You'll get it there. So country from for this address, I'll choose the same country there. And... Uh, country where you live today if you in a different country then you have to highlight it if you are still in the same country there's no problem with that then you have to fill the real uh, email and please don't forget the email this email is very important in case you lose your confirmation number you can retrieve it using the email education level you know it better and i received some question about education of those people who are in colleges doing some diploma courses you can go ahead and fill if you are in that level please choose the some university courses and after that specify it so i hope that one is clear so for uh, for me i will just use the minimum i 
that is qualified that is the high school degree and the term degree means that you have the certificate the secondary school certificate is also known as the secondary school degree whatever so if you have the certificate well and good uh, then from that we go to the key point here what is your current marital status current marital status means what you are right now not what you expect to be in a few months so for us we are going to use married by a spouse who is not a US citizen, who is not US, you know, lawful permanent residents or something like that. So, then the next question will be how many children? Let's go with two. Once you click on those, then you click continue. I hope there will be no error message. Sure. So, on the next page, electronic diversity visa entry form. If you need to go back and make a correction, do not use a uh, back button or your browser instead use appropriate button here or below so if you want to go back you don't know, this is the only button you can use if you try to reload or something like that you'll get an error message so part two derivatives this is the now you have to include your spouse name i'll go still with the name but you guys you know your spouse name and whatever we are talking about so you have to use their names as they are so once you fill on this, you continue. So you fill the spouse name, then date of birth and everything there. And you continue. You choose the gender. Now this might be female here. For the month, maybe you can just do it very quick. I'm trying to be as quick as I can. Uh, bad city I'll just you know from the passport you can get that Can't country where a spouse was born you can choose as you can see here then the spouse photography that's why I keep telling you you need their photos so on the photo again you just go I'll choose the same photo here this is just a sample and once you choose that then you go to child child one you can start with the firstborn again you have to fill their names everything as we said you know fill their name accordingly and once you're done with that fill the uh, month uh, the date of birth I'll try to be as quick as I can here the process needs some time but you need to be prepared very well At least before you make an application, just make sure you are well prepared and yeah, that's it. It will help you to avoid errors and others. So about again, you will need to upload a photo again. For every child, every derivative, you will have to upload. So the child too again. You keep doing all the same. So month So this might be a male and once you're done with that you continue country where they are born photography again you upload Once you click on that then click on continue Now you have to counter check everything everything is here as it should be you see on the first place starts with your name everything male gender birth city country whatever whatever everything passport name or expired date, everything is there photography and everything the email address and everything carried then marital status well two children the spouse and the relatives everything is there so you counter check all that and once you're sure it's safe then you can Click submit. Mine, I would don't have to submit because this is just a copy or uh, this is not real information, and that's why I won't submit. But once you submit, it will just go straight to the point, and you'll get your confirmation number there. If it doesn't, make sure you redo it again. But try to be fast because many people get error messages because they are slow. And once this application takes a few more minutes, then it will be low and it will be locked, and you have to.